What's good, everybody? As you can see, we are going to be making an easy tuna rice ball today with some stuff you probably already got in the kitchen. Now, first things first, you're going to need some rice. I happen to use sushi rice just because that's what I had left over, but I'm pretty sure regular white rice will be just fine. The next thing you want to do is dust off that tuna packet. I happen to have like a hickory smoked flavor one. So that's what I use along with some sriracha mayo, but you can be as fancy as you wanna be. Whatever you like in your tuna, do that. So from there, I just put down a piece of plastic wrap because I'm, I'm just, if there's a way to make a mess, I'll be making a mess and I don't have time for all that. I also put some oil down because last time I just, it was, it was sticky. So as you can see, Put a little rice down. Make sure your tuna is mixed up however much you like it to be mixed or mashed or sauced or whatever. It's up to you. It's yours. Do what you like. So yeah, put some rice down. Doesn't have to be crazy. Just enough to house your tuna. Bloop. Like so. And then just take your plastic wrap and, you know, proceed to kind of ball up the rice on the inside. This was very helpful. I think I've seen other people do it like this as well, but it, it helps. It, it, it helps. But anyways, boom. So now, why be regular when you can be fancy? We had some uh, like fried onions in the cabinet because there was a surplus of them because they were on sale and we have yet to use them. So why not today? Why not today? So I crushed those up, but I'm sure crackers would be just fine. Those would be tasty too. And just proceed to kind of like press them gently. You know, you don't want to do too much because it will kind of begin to come apart. What I found is that if you basically kind of ball it back up in the plastic wrap, just like this, like you did the, the original time, it works better. And you just kind of firmly press. And I mean, you look like you know what you're doing. Sort of. Boom. I also had some leftover what these like snack pack nori sheets that I was doing absolutely nothing with. So I just I mean, didn't want to waste them. So I figured I would kind of crunch them up or pull them apart, whatever. And basically do the same thing. We getting fancy up in here. Fancy, bop. And for good measure. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ain't it cute? I mean, it looks like it's been through some things. It looks rustic, but I mean, gourmet anybody? The last thing is just some sesame seeds. Don't ask me how long those have been in the cabinet, but they didn't stink. So I just thought it would it would bring a nice little touch to the plate. Don't judge me. And there you go. You fancy. You done pulled out the good plate. The good plate. From there, I mean, just enjoy yourself. Put whatever toppings on there that you would prefer. This is just what I had from previous recipes. And you know what? Just have a what? A rice ball. Peace.